What's going on Z Nation, Zade here, ZSPN, and today guys we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Memphis Grizzlies tonight, and also I want to give you guys uh, my thoughts and my opinions about the, the recent roster moves the Lakers have made, and I uh, just want to give you guys my thoughts and my opinions about it, and want to know your thoughts and opinions as well about the, the recent roster moves the Lakers have made, and uh, I really do appreciate your thoughts and opinions as well guys, so please, if if you just please give give me your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below in this video and uh, I'll check them out and see uh, what Lakers nation is you know are feeling about uh, the Lakers today and uh, the recent moves that they made so uh, without further ado guys let's just get right into it with this uh, Lakers win against the uh, the Memphis Grizzlies tonight uh, the Lakers basically came to play. I mean, they had a, a, you know, a motive tonight to basically, you know, take down a potential playoff uh, rival, potentially uh, going into, uh, you know, the, you know the, the the playoffs. So obviously, the Memphis Grizzlies is one of those teams that the Lakers might be facing in the playoffs. So uh, it's just another uh, moment where we have to see how uh, the Lakers play against uh, certain teams like the Memphis Grizzlies. And obviously, you know, the Lakers are basically the best team in the Western Conference. So seeing a team like the Memphis Grizzlies is just a piece of cake for them. So uh, obviously, uh, you know, the Lakers just came to play. And uh, when it's all said and done, I mean, you know, starting from the first, second quarter, uh, the Lakers defensively, they were, they showed up. I mean, at times, I mean, they were uh, playing very well defensively. Uh, you know, we had a certain moment in the first quarter that Anthony Davis went down with an injury. And uh, obviously, he gave us a kind of a, a sort of scare because, you know, he actually, you know, injured. Uh, at one point, it was like an ankle, but then it's a calf issue that he's dealing with. But uh, it still remains to be seen how he will be feeling, in the, you know, probably tomorrow when, you know, when it's all said and done. And obviously, I hope anything, nothing is too serious because obviously, Anthony Davis returned from in tonight's game and obviously he gave us a great performance to watch I mean I believe he had uh, 28 points 10 rebounds and I believe I might be wrong guys I think he had maybe three maybe four blocks out there tonight so obviously you know with that being said you know Anthony Davis just showed up out of nowhere tonight and uh you know, stepped up in a huge way for the Los Angeles Lakers. And uh, even though he went down with that injury, he showed up. So great job tonight for Anthony Davis. And then when it's all said and done, LeBron James was basically the leading scorer for the Los Angeles Lakers tonight. I believe he had 32 points. And, uh, you know, guys, you know, LeBron James, he's on a different level. I mean, he is preparing himself to basically compete in the playoffs and uh, you know we only have 29 games to go uh, for the playoffs to basically begin for the Los Angeles Lakers they still have the number one seat they are sealing they're trying to seal the uh, the deal for them to keep the number one seat uh, for in the Western Conference so obviously the Lakers are trying to play the best basketball that they can so they can uh, secure that. So uh, hopefully they just keep that momentum alive and that mentality uh, to basically continue to win and have a great team chemistry. And guys, we witnessed that tonight. There was a lot of great team chemistry out there tonight from the Los Angeles Lakers, uh, you know, from Kyle Kuzma and KCP, Dwight Howard, Anthony Davis. I mean, out there tonight, they... Everyone, really. I mean, they showed a lot of uh, teamwork out there tonight. And uh, obviously, I hope the Lakers keep that uh, mentality alive. And hopefully, with the added addition to Markeith Morris, it's just going to be another, uh, you know, certain relationship from the Los Angeles Lakers to basically build around when it comes to uh, having uh, Markeith Morris on the Los Angeles Lakers. So uh, looking forward to that potentially. So um, when it's all said and done, I mean, you know, either, even though the Lakers struggled uh, shooting wise and uh, obviously, you know, they did struggle at times when it came to uh, turnovers and um, just certain stuff like 
certain minor stuff like that. But at the end of the day, the Lakers showed up defensively, especially in the um, fourth quarter. Even though they blew a lead at one point, uh, at one point the Lakers were leading like 25 points in the second quarter. Uh, they kind of blew it when it came to the third and fourth quarter when the Memphis Grizzlies came out of nowhere and just were at the end of the uh, third quarter. I think they were down by, I might be wrong, I think they were, they were like somewhere around six points, something like that. So, uh, you know, the Lakers blew that certain um, lead that they were on, but, of, but at the end of the day, they kind of corrected that in the fourth quarter by playing aggressive defense. And uh, that all had to do with uh, the blocking because out of the total blocks in tonight's game, the Lakers had, I believe, maybe 11 or 13 blocks uh, in tonight's game. So obviously, defensively, the Lakers showed up. So uh, great job tonight for the rest of the Lakers squad. And when it's all said and done, uh, when it came to the bench, uh, or actually, no, uh, there was another player that stepped up on the starting lineup, and that was... uh, and A.V. Bradley, I mean, there was times throughout the game that he showed up, uh, you know, him shooting threes, and uh, obviously, you know, he showed a lot of uh, abilities to shoot, and, you know, showing a lot of glimpse of his, you know, days, you know, when he was playing with the Clippers at one point. I mean, he was a huge contributor uh, to that particular team back, I believe it was maybe, I, I believe it was what, maybe like 2014, 15 somewhere around there when he was with the Clippers at one point and uh, uh, you know he was basically laying it up at that at that time and then somehow uh, you know he got injured and obviously you know he was dealing with injuries had a weight problem and obviously now it's sort of similarity to uh, Dwight Howard he's basically having a redemption year for himself to basically improve himself and hopefully be a huge contributor to the Los Angeles Lakers so uh, obviously I just hope he keeps that momentum alive and hopefully we see that once playoffs uh, roll around so a great job tonight for Avery Bradley when it came to the shooting ability Um, when 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 it came to the bench I mean you know, Kyle Kuzma, there's been times where he showed up at times for the Los Angeles Lakers, you know, passing the ball. And there was like a key moment in, I believe, maybe it was the second or third quarter that he passed the ball to Anthony Davis at a at a slick move that he made that he was going to attempt to shoot. But then he saw Anthony Davis under the rim and just basically, you know, gave it to uh, Anthony Davis to basically uh, seal the seal uh, seal score for himself. So uh, that certain instance that I want to see more out of Kyle Kuzma if he's not going to score so much for the Los Angeles Lakers. So uh, if he keeps that up, uh, he will be a great contributor to the Los Angeles Lakers uh, in these certain situations for them to win games. So uh, with that being said, you know, great job tonight for Kyle Kuzma. Uh, Alice Caruso, you know, guys, Cal, sorry, uh, Alice Caruso is something special to watch. I mean, the guy is very de- great defensively. He knows how to play great defense. And, uh, you know, as we all witnessed when uh, I believe it was Anthony Davis, he missed uh, the free throw uh, that he was attempting. And uh, obviously we saw Cal Caruso, sorry, uh, Alice Caruso out of nowhere making a surprising dunk uh, with the missed uh, free throw. So obviously, guys, with his athleticism and his uh, ability to go to the rim and uh, dunk, it's just something special that we love to see from Alex Caruso. So I hope we see that more out of him. And, you know, you know, th- at the end of the season, going into the playoffs, we I would love to see more like that from Ka- uh, Alex Caruso. And uh, hopefully he just keeps that... Keep this momentum that he's that he's on. Uh, I don't know it's the headband that he's wearing or you know something like that. I mean, I just hope that he keeps that alive and you know with the help of his teammates and the team chemistry, like I'm saying, still intact and you know still alive. And obviously, I just hope the Lakers uh, keep that uh, you know keep that uh, momentum alive for. Uh, for that sort of relationship that they have. So uh, great job tonight for uh, Alice Caruso. But overall, 
but it's all said and done. I mean, the Lakers, they came out of nowhere tonight and uh, played very well defensively. Struggled at times at shooting, but, you know, it was kind of even match from the uh, Memphis Grizzlies because they were also struggling shooting-wise out there tonight. So, uh, at the end of the day, the Lakers were just basically the better team. And, you know, they had an opportunity to just take the win at Staples against the Memphis Grizzlies. So, and... I just hope, guys, that they just keep this up uh, when it comes down to, uh, you know, facing other teams uh, that are basically, uh, you know, a challenge for the Los Angeles Lakers. And hopefully, you know, with the team chemistry that they have and uh, having a, a great defensive, uh, you know, uh, coaches that they have. And obviously, uh, with the added addition to Markeith Morris, uh, it's just going to be very interesting to watch how the Lakers will, will play uh, throughout this season. And uh, hopefully uh, they just keep it up. And um, guys, when it's all said and done, when it comes to uh, the Lakers roster moves, uh, obviously the Lakers, uh, li I reported it, uh, you know, in my last video. So you guys, if you guys want to go check that out, please do so. Uh, I give you guys my thoughts and my opinions about the Lakers having interest or actually no, um, Markeith Morris uh, just basically agreed to a buyout from the, uh, the the Detroit Pistons, and obviously he's picking the Los Angeles Lakers to sign with, and uh, you know it's it's going to happen on Sunday, so uh, stay tuned for that, guys. And uh, for me, guys, I'm very excited. I mean, we needed somebody who can be a huge uh, contributor to uh, to the bench, and obviously somebody like Markeith Morris will be. Uh, that particular player and uh, I believe learning from I believe some I, be, I forgot who reported but I believe in that negotiation with uh, Markeith Morris and the Lakers is that he is going to get uh, more minutes and obviously he's going to have a huge role off the bench when it comes when it comes to uh, backing up uh, certain players like uh, I believe he's going to the, I believe he's going to play the power forward position, and he's going to back up uh, um, Anthony Davis. So uh, expect maybe Kyle Kuzma will be uh, backing uh, LeBron James. But, you know, it's kind of a, a shift type of role. You never know. They could switch uh, positions uh, at certain uh, games in certain situations. So uh, it's kind of a... a uh, a twist and turn when it came when it comes to that uh, particular uh, uh, decision, but uh, so far, guys, the you know the Lakers and Marquise Morris agreed to uh, the uh, an understanding, and obviously, um, he is going to be a Los Angeles Lakers at the end of the day. And I just really can't wait to see Marquise Morris to basically lit it up off the bench when it comes to the Los Angeles Lakers, and uh, you know it's going to be. Very interesting to watch how he will play for the Los Angeles Lakers and, you know, facing a team like uh, the L.A. Clippers and facing his brother, who is also, uh, you know, playing for the uh, the L.A. Clippers uh, and uh, Marcus Morris. So uh, obviously it's going to be a another saga to basically uh, witness when, it, when it's all said and done uh, with the rivalry between the Los Angeles Lakers and the LA Clippers. And it's going to be a brother versus brother type of deal. So, and uh, uh, obviously I just really can't wait to see that from, uh, from both of those brothers and especially uh, in general from the Los Angeles Lakers and their rivalry with the the LA Clippers so it's going to be something to watch and I just really can't wait for that particular uh, matchup uh, between those two teams and uh, it's going to be fun guys it's going to be very interesting for um, Laker fans and obviously Staples Center that's the main reason Staples Center is going to have a, a show to watch when it comes to those two uh, those two added additions uh, from different teams and uh, the rivalry between those two. So uh, I just really can't wait, guys. And um, honestly, it's going to be very interesting to watch. And then when it's all said and done, uh, I want to talk about uh, the recent uh, roster moves that the Lakers have made. Uh, as we all know by now, the Lakers have waived uh, DeMarcus Cousins. Uh, you know, basically, they made that move to, to have room for Markeith Morris 
And guys, uh, some of you, uh, you know, it's kind of a divided sort of thing. Some people agreed on that uh, on that uh, wave from uh, Demarcus Cousins, and then there's some of you who disagreed with that. Uh, personally, guys, just just this is just me coming uh, from this uh, perspective. Uh, I kind of agreed on the Los Angeles Lakers making that move because, uh, you know, guys, you know, even though DeMarcus Cousins, you know, he is a guy who, you know, has the ability to get back on track and, you know, obviously have a the ability to be that player that he once was. Uh, but, you know, throughout the season so far, you know, he's been rehabbing and, you know, he hasn't been contributing to the Los Angeles Lakers whatsoever. Uh, maybe he's, you know, behind the scenes, you know, building, uh, you know, that team chemistry around uh, the Lakers. But, you know, at the end of the day, guys, this is something that the Lakers need to to make. And, uh, you know, if you have the opportunity to Get somebody who will help your bench in a huge way in Markeith Morris. You have to make sacrifices. I mean, DeMarcus Cousins is one of those players that the Lakers need to consider. Because, you know, even though there were some talks here and there from Frank Vogel that DeMarcus Cousins will be ready when it, when the playoffs uh, approach. And he'll be able to play for the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, there's still that uh, sort of instance that maybe, you know... What we what we once saw from him last year when he was with the uh, you know the, with the Wizards, sorry, uh, with the uh, the Warriors, you know he played a little bit in the playoffs, and somehow he got re injured again. So uh, you know that's the fear. Also, will he get re injured again? I mean, you never know. I mean, as of right now, uh, you know he is still rehabbing, and obviously he's going to work out his rehab in the off season. So you never know. This might extend even past the playoffs or the finals when it came to uh DeMarcus Cousins. So um I think it's just a really good move for the Lakers to make. I mean there were some people who were actually saying maybe they should have kept DeMarcus Cousins and waived somebody like uh Quinn Cook or Trey Troy Daniels or Jared Dudley. I mean, those certain players. I mean, and guys, part of me is saying the Lakers should have made it, made that particular move to waive those certain players. But at the end of the day, you know, you know, things happen. And obviously, um, DeMarcus Cousins is just one of those type of candidates to be waived that the Lakers just needed to make. I mean, uh, and you never know. I mean, if once the offseason approaches for the Los Angeles Lakers, he they might consider bringing him back. I mean, there is that certain instance that, you know, if DeMarcus Cousins is 100% healthy and he's ready to go and, you know, he wants to have a, a an opportunity to, uh, you know, play for a team, the Lakers might consider him again. I mean, you never know. They He might, you know, because I believe they have bird rights on him if he is still a free agent and um, I'm not sure it's kind of weird I'm not so sure how the details is but uh, I believe I have the details so if you guys want to check that out uh, I, I'll show it on this video I believe I shot a, a, a screenshot of it so uh, check it out guys I mean it, it was kind of weird the way I read it but you know if you guys understood it uh, that's what it means so um, obviously I wish DeMarcus Cousins, nothing but the best, and uh, hopefully he recovers very soon, and, you know, if he comes back 100%, and, you know, even though if he will be a great contributor to the Lakers at one point uh, down the line or somewhere else, I wish the guy nothing but the best, and uh, obviously it's very sad to see how how injuries really messed the career of uh, DeMarcus Cousins because you guys he was one of those players that you know he was MVP level type of guy and uh, obviously uh, with that Achilles injury and the ACL injury and you know just injuries that came back and forth every single year since he got that Achilles injury it was just very sad to see a guy like that uh, suffer that much and uh 
I, I like I said, guys, I wish him nothing but the best, and hopefully, maybe I mean, there's just rumors, but you never know. The Lakers might uh, revisit the whole Demarcus Cousins situation, and you never know, they might bring him back in the off season. But you never know, things might change, and you never know, you know, things will. Um, transpire when it comes to uh, the the off season. He might go somewhere else, or you know he might give the Lakers another try, or the Lakers might give him another try. You never know. So, um, so guys, that's my own thoughts and opinions when it comes to the Lakers uh, so far. What they have made uh, today, and obviously, uh, you know the game that we witnessed tonight tonight against the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, the Lakers are basically on the right track right now. And uh, I I can honestly say, uh, with the added addition to Markeith Morris, the Lakers are are going to be a very great you know a very good team going into uh, the playoffs. And you know, the Lakers have a great talent off on on their roster when it comes to the starting lineup and the bench. And uh, like I said, guys, we needed somebody to basically have a boost. You know. Uh, off the bench, and that is Markeith Morris. I mean, he's going to be the guy who is potentially going to come in and I don't know, just have a lot of load. Uh, you know, <laughs> totally. Let me rephrase it. He will just basically carry the load that uh, LeBron is holding, and obviously, he is somebody that can handle that. And uh, you know, with his uh, defensive ability, that he is, uh, he is well known. To basically have that uh, the ability to play great defense, uh, he does struggle at times when it comes to shooting because he only sh- 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 like shoots around forty percent, and uh, that's only when he's like in the corner. So obviously, with that sort of instance, uh, he could contribute very well when it comes to uh, that sort of ability that he has, and especially uh, defensively. And you know, with the help of the coaches that we have. He might, uh, you know, increase his ability to play, uh, you know, great defense. And, you know, somebody like him who can guard somebody like, uh, you know, Kawhi Leonard would be something uh, that that the Lakers would, uh, appre- you know, appreciate from uh, Markeith Morris. So, um, with that being said, guys, I mean, please comment down below. Give your thoughts about uh, the Los Angeles Lakers and the recent moves that they made. Uh, signing Marquise Morris and uh, you know and also waving uh, Demarcus Cousins and also guys please give me your thoughts about tonight's game. I want to know your thoughts and your opinions about uh, everything that's going on with the Los Angeles Lakers and uh, I really do appreciate your thoughts and opinions when it comes to the Los Angeles Lakers because you guys it really shows me how you guys love the Lakers and you know how you just giving your thoughts about you know if the Lakers made the right moves or did not make the right moves because, guys, there's no discrimination when it comes to uh, someone's opinions about uh, their their Los Angeles Lakers. So, and guys, like I said, I respect every single one of you when it comes to your thoughts and opinions. I mean, because this is the nature of sports. I mean, we give each other, uh, you know, our thoughts and opinions, but at the end of the day, we are still fans we are still uh you know sports buddies and you know everything i mean we are still united when at the end of the day when it comes to uh our thoughts and opinions about our our teams so and that's why i love uh you know the game of sports because that's just uh, the nature of how we can all come together and honestly have a great conversation about our teams if we have disagreements but at the end of the day we are still we're still buddies. We're still fans. So uh, please, guys, comment down below. Like, subscribe to the channel. This is a long... Well, this is my own preference. This is a long video for me. But, you know, uh, we're talking about the Los Angeles Lakers. I just love talking about them. And so far, they're doing very well. And hopefully, they just keep that momentum alive and uh, the mentality to just win games and secure the number one seed so they can have an opportunity to have a huge uh, advantage when it comes to home court advantage. And uh, honestly, guys, it's just really great how the Lakers are doing right now. And uh, the number one thing that I just love about the Lakers, and this is just real quick, is that the team chemistry and the defense. The Lakers just play very well when it comes to that. And, uh, you know, I'm just loving it. And hopefully they just keep it up and, you know, 
just, <laughs> just I just hope they just keep it up. So guys, please comment down below, like, subscribe to the channel, share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all the good social media stuff. And guys, like always, like all my social media sites, Facebook, ZSPN, and also uh, Twitter at ZSPN underscore sport. Like always, I'll leave the links into the description of this video so you guys can check them out. I really do appreciate all the love and support you guys give me on this channel. It's just well respected and overwhelming about the support you guys give me and uh, I really love it and I really do appreciate every single one of you guys who continuously watch my videos and um, you know sharing my videos and commenting as well so I really do appreciate every single one of you guys and I'll see you all in the next video thank you so much for watching go Lakers take it easy guys mm -hmm.